Well, this is the Titanic. One of my favorite stories today. We have a story within the story. I think you're going to like it. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for joining us on this week's Steam Culture. I think you're really going to like our episode about the Titanic. First of all, shout out to Skylar, who's the son of Chuck, behind the camera for us, built this model. And I think he's done a fantastic job. And we're going to use it to talk about the steam whistles, the story behind the story on the Titanic. One of my favorite stories, I think it's also one of your favorite stories, judging by the amount of views we have on our prior episodes on the Titanic. So much steam involved with this thing. Steam whistles. Yeah, the Titanic had the largest set of steam whistles built at the time. 750 pounds per whistle. Took about three whistles, I think, to make the complete set that were mounted on the Titanic. They were four feet tall, and you could hear them like 11 miles away. And of course, we're talking about them because they were powered by steam. Well, here's what you need to know about steam whistles. The whistle consists of a whistle bell, the steam orifice, or some people say aperture, and the actual valve. Now, when the lever is pulled, which is usually attached with a cord or a chain, the valve opens and lets the steam escape through the orifice. Now, the steam will compress and what they will say rarefy in the bell, which is what creates the sound. Now, the pitch or the tone is dependent on the length of the bell and how far the operator actually opened the valve. Now, it's reported that the steam whistles were blown once a day at noon, according to the White Star Cruise Line protocol, but the truth is, in heavy weather, they were probably blown repeatedly, fog, things like that, where visibility was really low, so that people knew that the uh, Titanic was in the area. Remember, uh, the steam whistles were so large and powerful, you could hear them up to 11 miles away. It's also reported, and get ready people that want to wear me out in the comments, that the whistles were mounted on the first funnel. And go with the comments, all right? We'll check those out later. So a salvage expedition in 1993 brought the whistles to the surface. They were down there. They actually found the set of three whistles, brought them up to the surface and restored them. In 1999, there was an exhibition in St. Paul, Minnesota, and this is very cool. They're going to blow the whistles. So they had to use compressed air because that, that hot steam would probably damage the, the insides and they've been laying on the bottom of the ocean. So they set up the Titanic uh, steam whistles with compressed air and 100,000 people gathered to watch the first time and the last time those whistles would ever be blown almost 100 years after the Titanic went down. Great, great, great story. You can go check out that exhibition. Again, it was in 1999 in St. Paul, uh, Minnesota. Before you do that, you need to stop by our site. Check it out because we have great content for you each and every week. Thanks for spending time with us. I'll see you next week on Steam Culture.